Hello, welcome. I'm Hannah. I have a passion for movies and I love YouTube and I love watching people's reactions to movies and that is why I created this channel. So if you're new here, I watch and react to movies I've never seen before and the goal is to have fun together and experience it together. The videos are of course edited for copyright and it seems it wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't run into a lot of tech issues off camera. Um, hopefully I'm not going to run into while I try to watch this movie, but I did just run through. I tried to get this going an hour and a half ago. Go to the go -go! Uh, so yeah, it's the first time shooting a video in my new apartment. So I know it's been a hot minute since I've put a video out. So skip to the timestamp if you don't want to hear any more intro. But part of the reason I haven't filmed in a long time is because, uh, so I love my new apartment, but it's tiny and I don't know how loud, uh, my neighbors are, I'm afraid of being too loud to my neighbors, so I, I would only want to film during the day. But the thing is, I have weird uh, health issues that have me on a weird schedule all the time. Um, so really, my best time would to film would be at night. Uh, but I can't do that here, because I don't want to risk being too loud. Especially because if I get into a movie, I can get loud or I even scream sometimes. <laughs> So even this, I was hoping to get it an hour and a half ago. I was hoping it going at 7:30. It is now 9:07, so it's really kind of late. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to. How's my audio doing? Okay, I'm gonna try not to be loud while I watch this movie. Another one of many factors on why I have not. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna just go to the movie. Gosh, I hope I'm not gonna be too loud. I did when I moved here. I wrote. I, I bought two cards and I wrote a friendly message on them and I put them in both of my neighbors mailboxes that I'm in between and I said if I'm ever too loud or anything please let me know um because I'm paranoid of being too loud. The only thing is is like if I'm reacting to a movie they can't text me because I'll be in airplane mode so I'm just gonna hope I'm not too loud. Right now I only have access to movies that are on one of my streaming services. It's not on my budget to be running movies or anything right now. A lot of those movies that people suggested, I, I can't find them on any of my streaming services. And this month, my brother's, uh, my brother's on HBO and he gave me his password. So I was going through there and I still wasn't finding any of the movies that I've been trying to find. Um, but I did come across one that brought back memories. So that's why I decided to pick this movie. So when this movie came out, which says it's 1997, so I was a kid. I remember I wanted to see this real bad and I wasn't allowed. <laughs> so anyways, uh, when I was older and then I could watch, you know, whatever I wanted, this never made it to the table. I've just never remembered that I wanted to see this movie. So when I was browsing, I was like, okay, that could be fun. And I don't remember anything about this movie. It looks like it's a creature in a museum. I don't know, but I just remember wanting to see this movie when it came out and then just never watching it. And it's just never been on my radar all that time. So I thought that could be a fun one. So we'll see, it might might be terrible. I don't know, but I'm excited to watch it and find out. Like I said, when I was setting up, I was having so many technical issues. I even, I originally I spent an hour trying to set things up here to, I thought it'd be cool to sit on my couch and watch a movie, but I was too far. I'll spare you all the details, but it didn't work out, so. I spent an hour figuring that out. Uh, and then a half hour getting it set up here, so. Anyways, um, and it's even with a new, easier setup that my friend Lenny helped me set up and I still can run into issues, so whatever. Anyways, let's get this movie going. Relic. I hope I'm not too loud, it's after nine. Okay, I'm looking at my audio. Hopefully you can hear me just fine and hopefully I don't raise my voice louder than this. We'll see what happens. I even turned it down and it was too loud. Just don't scream. I can't, when I was living in a basement, I could scream and whatever and my neighbors wouldn't hear me, but here I can even, I can sometimes hear when they open their closet door. <laughs> Starting out with the creepy music. I hope it's a good thriller. That's my favorite. I'm guessing it's a thriller. That 
that Tom sighs more. That name rings a bell. Okay. Making sure it is in my earbuds and not actually okay, walk too loud. Okay, so it sounds like some creepy satanic ritual. This is creepy. Oh, interesting. Creature effects. So it is a creature in movie. How long is this ritual? I just hope nobody gets killed. I'm assuming no one's gonna get killed because since we saw the photographer we know that he's like observing so I'm assuming it's nothing illegal is gonna happen, I'm assuming. Him partake. Uh oh. What if he's the sacrifice? Hello, creepy zoom. Oh. Oh. Bad. Aw. Oh, he's dragged. Ooh. You won't want to be seeing that when you're drugged. Oh god. Oh, that's horrible. Aww, mean. So many reflections on my monitor. Peter Hyams? I don't know that director. Yeah, the photographer dude. Jonathan, my crates. Have you loaded my crates? They can't go. They have to come off. What the hell are you? My name is John Whitney. The crates, they're consigned to the Natural History Museum in Chicago. Don't worry, senor. We'll take good care of your crates. Andale, prisa, ya, ya, prisa. Pause real quick. Let's see if I can turn one of these lights off. make a difference there's so many lights on my monitor uh i don't i didn't make it too dark right hope well it's interesting so far oh i just hope i don't hope i don't did he find it and all of that with no flashlight he found it uh -oh. I'll go Illinois. Uh oh, made it. I went to Chicago for a karate tournament when I was a teenager. I mainly remember the bad traffic. That's my main memory of Chicago. Coast Guard found it early this morning. Don't really know how long it's been there or how it got there. Morning, Lieutenant. Just been to the front of the boat. I got something to show you. It's a ship, Hollingsworth, not a boat. What part of I don't want to talk about it is unclear. His ex-wife got custody of his son? His dog. His dog? That put me in a bad mood, too. It's blood. Any bodies? Nope, not a one. 
Oh, it killed. When the Coast Guard found it. It was floundering in the middle of Lake Michigan, so they towed it in. Nobody knows how long it had been like that. Check the manifest. We're doing it now. Bring in the dogs. The uh, drug unit's been over the whole thing. Oh, there was a lot of the blood. The time. I mean, this was. Now I figure they came aboard at night. They killed everyone, and they threw the bodies overboard. You figure all that. Oh, the bodies are missing. <laughs> what? Shit. What? Cat! Give me a heart attack. Give me a hand here. What a stink. Jesus Christ. Is that all the bodies? I love her style. I love her whole her scarf and her jacket. Do not run. Walk. Walk. Easy. Do not run. Margo, I need to speak with you about your grant. You've heard already? I've heard something. I love that lady. I didn't get it. No, it's not that bad. It's just that the Blaze Dale. Okay, she's from Kindergarten Cop. To delay their decision. Delay. Is that the mom from Kindergarten Red Cop? Is that how I know her? Applying for the same grant. Rick. It is, isn't it? I, I always think it's neat when people are in the same movie and work. then they're in the same if movie in another movie. I don't suppose he's... you've got the gala coming oh. up night after next and the plays deals The gala. <laughs> okay, it's doing my earbuds do this little staticky thing and I just gotta unplug them and plug it back in. <laughs> I like the sign on the fridge. Don't even think about it. No food. How do they not know there's kids there? There's kids in that main room. How do people not know that? I'm not gonna scream. Johnson, Davis, that you? <laughs> kind of sounds like a raptor from Jurassic Park. <laughs> Only, it's actually, I think it's a little bit scarier than the raptor. I'm not loud. I still got an hour and a half left and it's probably like 9 30 or something. I'm gonna try not to whisper but try not to be loud. <laughs> Dr. Green, I've lured myself to the bone. Please let me go home. I need to rest. <laughs> that was cute. All right, you guys, you can finish tomorrow morning. <laughs> Go on, take Ike. That was funny. That's a fun staff. Okay, they didn't get the kids. They didn't notice. Why don't we just start yelling? I bet that'd be fun to work in a museum. Josh. <laughs> you goofball, you almost wet your pants. Josh. I didn't Let's see anything. I'm confused. Is it? Is it the next day? Hang on to your fucking half lieutenant. I want to interview every employee, whether they worked yesterday or not. If they did work, I want the hours. What part of the building? If they saw the victim, what time and where? Mm. Okay, they're okay. <laughs> Can I help you? Uh, Lieutenant Augusta wants to see me. He does? This is Dr. Green. Oh, yeah, Dr. Green. I'm Lieutenant Augusta. I wanted to ask mm -hmm. you some questions, but I'm... 
Oh, I forgot it was uh, that guy in the bathroom that got killed. This look familiar to you? Yep. This is not good. That made me jump. I never thought there was a worse way to die than a shark attack. This place is not going to open. And his brain is clear. Out. out of his head. Now the question is, his office was vandalized last night. Why would it vandalize wow. his office? Do you have any idea what might have been in this office if oh. someone wants so damn bad? Oh, it didn't vandalize it. It got out. Well, John Whitney's, but I've been told I mean, a creature wouldn't open filing drawers. Were they friends? No. What kind of superstitious people? That it. Um, here's my card if you think. We have an African American male, height five foot four, with his head maybe six foot one, weight one hundred and sixty. Can you imagine learning all that terminology? I mean, I know people do, obviously, but I can't imagine it. Brain is severely traumatized and appears to have been severed at the medulla oblongata. The medulla oblongata. Mama said. The medulla oblongata. Hey, wait a minute. This brain's light, even for a man. <laughs> Something's missing into the bloodstream. Don't you agree, Fred? Yes. He never shuts up. I like her. A nice creepy shot. Looks like a fun museum. Looks like a really fun museum. I keep saying that, but it does. Did you forget her way out? Again, if that's the worst of my tech issues here on out, I'm fine with it. Good morning, Lieutenant. What heads we were able to salvage from the Santos Morales were pretty decomposed, but they were all missing their hypothalamus. As... of sequences of three that are unique to each other. They're going to have the gala and then that thing is going to get out and terrorize. The Kai tribe lieutenant believed that headaches were caused by sorcery and the kinfolk of the headache victim would identify the sorcerer and then go off and murder him. Just I don't think I could kill someone no even if it was the sorcerer that caused my migraine. Some connection between the vandal could any of these rituals have anything to do with, say, uh, ripping out the human hypothalamus? Beg your pardon? Human hypothalamus? Never mind. Why do you say never mind? It's that same stink. <laughs> Of 
recording, recording. Electron microscope. I would love yet. to look through an electron microscope. Well, I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like this before. It's a domestic beetle. Domestic? Are you sure? They're in for a show. Very, very proud. Johnson. Time to shut down the outside. <laughs> Where? Down the fire stairs and across the sub basement. Down the stairs? Hope your brakes work. <laughs> I'm not gonna scream. Margo. Of course I'm lost. Just checking. <laughs> a lot of people in this movie have a good sense of humor. Save the doggy. Primordial forest. There's Pan. That would be a fun museum, though. And here we are in Brazil. My name's Hollingsworth, Chicago homicide. We have to get everybody out of here now. Can you yeah, imagine? Your situation, you are. Seems random for the creature to just the throw hell? a dead body. Computer's washing down the last cell door. Somebody's buckling us. Mm. I don't understand who would be messing with them. Like, if, if this is from the creature. I get like creature from ancient evil or whatever. I get that this is a creature, but I don't understand how it's like shutting a system down and all that. That part's everything is shut down. I'm missing that part. Make sure it's not loud. Okay. Because I hear it really loud. I'm always. I'm, I'm always paranoid that, like, I would think the earbuds are in, but they're actually not. <laughs> and it's just that it's really loud. <gasps> oh. Oh. Oh my god. Can you imagine? Good night. Good lord, people. Surely that would not smash somebody. Surely it would be smart enough not to smash somebody. It would really... Would a system like that, would it really smash? What do you mean by like an elevator where if it senses it, it'll open... It, well, at least it wouldn't smash? Someone uh, fucking trashed the backup system. Johnson, it's Parkinson! Where the hell are you? Hey, asshole. Aren't you gonna answer the man? <laughs> Thank you. 
So is this a highly intelligent monster creature? I mean, obviously, we're assuming it's an intelligent creature, but like, that it can mess with systems and stuff. Put the mirror on. Just reminded when I'm looking at the dog of that one video of a cop and like a retired dog. All right, shopping list: bread, milk, pasta, eggs, mayo, cocaine. Just kidding. <laughs> it's funny. Anyway. McNally, you're staying. That was my biology Mr. teacher, Mr. McNally. Bullshit, Tom. You're fired. <laughs> Did the dog get in there, or is it in here? What is that? Where's the dog? That would be terrifying. Somebody want to tell me what in God's name that was? How long is this going to take? A little while. Oh, that's terrific. It makes me want to play Minesweeper. God, when I get my hands on him, you're going at it instead of running from it. Oh, yeah, it's reptilian, so it could be like a giant lizard, giant furry lizard. Ooh. Sick. Like a bug lizard. Bug lizard dinosaur creature. That would suck. Why'd it do that? It wants the top half. This guy. He selflessly helped hold him to leave him there. I'm wondering, like, what? What is it? Was it three percent Homo sapien? You tell me. So he'd make an eye contact. No, I'm saying more than that. According to this data, that thing started out as a human. I'm gonna keep scanning, there must be some error. Oh, is it John? The, or the Holmesworth. Whittington or whatever? Where are you? I'm just about to... Where are those leaves with the hormones that thing likes to... Deep. Part reptilian. Part beetle. Part human. What do you mean, maybe? Damn. 
John Whitney, that was his oh my name. God. <laughs> that thing is everywhere. It was in the basement. Now it's on the roof falling through. I hope I never have to run for my life for anything. I'm not fast. I wouldn't make it very long. <laughs> What's she doing? What's the purpose of uh, coming? What is she doing? What? How is that helping her? Obviously class doesn't slow it down. I don't understand what the purpose of that was. Because all it seemed to do was slow her down. Oh, is that it? Like, it's flammable? But yeah, she's turning on the water, so I don't understand. Good thing she's a scientist and knows what all that is. She's gonna kill herself. Why would it slowly? I mean, for dramatic cinematic purposes, that's why. Why is it messing with her? Why is. I mean, to make the movie scarier. Well, I mean, I guess she was lucky it did all that gross slow stuff because it gave her time for the elevator. If that's what she was waiting on, right? So the fire doesn't kill it. I had a feeling. That was gonna happen, but there would be just enough time for her to say, like, that final line. <laughs> this kind of takes away from the experience, but at least I'm used to it. Except the ones that got their brains eaten. Peter Hyams. I thought that was good. Sometimes I like to watch the credits and look for the PAs because I've been a PA, a production assistant. They're usually toward the end. Here, let's just for funsies, let's fast forward to look for the PAs. Yeah, they're, they're usually at the bottom. Actually, this shirt I'm wearing was uh, the first PA I ever did for a film. This earned me my first IMDb credit. And production crew? Would that be? Usually it's production assistants. No PAs? Just no PAs. Okay, this little circle thing. When I used to make my movies growing up, uh, a lot of times I would do the credits as like, uh, I would do paper and do starring and all that. Uh, and at my end credits, a lot of times I would draw those circles because it's at the end of movies. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see the PAs. Well, that was fun. I liked it. Um, I find this funny that I wasn't allowed to watch this, but I watched Jurassic Park. me entertained. It kept me on the edge of my seat at times. Um, trying to think of what else to say. And it is 11. Hopefully I'm not being too loud. I thought the directing was pretty good. Curious who that would see. There's a tiny little bug on my keyboard. Peter... Is that right? Because I thought he, uh, 
thought it, it seemed directed pretty good. Okay, so... I don't think I know any of his movie, other movies. But actually, I'd like to see who wrote the screenplay because writers, okay, Douglas Preston, Lincoln Child, Amy Holden, Jones. Okay, because whoever wrote the screenplay, they they have a good sense of humor, so that was entertaining. Alrighty, thank you for watching. Uh, this was fun. If you're new here, I I don't have a timeline of when movie or. If you're new here, I don't have a timeline of when videos can come out, so I don't know when I'll get my next video out, but uh, I love doing this, so I have no intention for this channel to stop. It's just a matter of when I can get videos out is always the question, but uh, yeah, I will, I will be looking forward to doing a video again soon, hopefully, um, and I hope you're doing well, and I will hopefully see you in my next video.